channel so today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different so I know I normally do like fashion related videos and hauls and everything like that so today I'm going to be doing something that's a lot more beauty themed and people who watch this who love makeup will be excited because I am super super excited obviously everyone knows that I love makeup almost as much as almost as much as I love fashion not quite as much but almost as much um, I've been into fashion a lot longer than I have with makeup but you know when you get to the stage in your makeup and everything's running out and you don't wanna but you just have to spend the money on new products I did a little bit of damage and I got lots of new makeup so as you can see I have mainly bought from Beauty Bay and Cult Beauty um, mainly got high end products not all high end products I'm not saying that these are the products that you should get to make your makeup look the best but it's just what I wanted to get out of my choice so I'm going to do a little unboxing and show you all of the products I've got um, as I said they're from Cult Beauty and Beauty Bay um, they're both online stores so if anyone is interested in any of the products I got then I probably won't link them all below because I'm I've bought tons but I'll link the websites below and obviously you can just search the product names that I say and buy them yourself if you like the look at them. Also if anyone wants to see maybe a testing video or first impressions or like swatches of any of these products then just let me know because I'll happily do something like that as I've never really done makeup videos on this channel before. If anyone's interested in knowing anything about how I do my makeup or anything like that then please just let me know down below because I'd very happily do that for you guys so yeah I'm gonna stop talking now and get on with that so this stuff from Beauty Bay has literally been here in my room since Sunday it's currently Thursday so this has been such hard work to not open this package but the Cult Beauty parcel only arrived yesterday I think so I've been waiting until everything arrives until I do this haul um, so yeah I'm gonna start with the Cult Beauty package because I bought I just hit myself in the face bought a lot less from there compared to Beauty Bay. Um, I had bought all of these things in three separate days because one day I wanted this and then I ended up just buying pretty much everything I wanted in the end. Um, I, the only things I didn't buy was foundation and concealer because the foundation I'm wearing right now is L'Oreal True Match. Um, I do love a high end foundation but I've tried so many, I've tried MAC Born This Way uh, by Too Faced, um, I've tried all the drugstore, I've tried Estee Lauder, I love Estee Lauder, that's probably the best one I've ever tried um, but there isn't one that I'm absolutely in love with except from Estee Lauder that I want to wear on a regular daily basis. So I'm just sticking to L'Oreal True Match for the minute and then I'll probably just wear Estee Lauder when I want like full full coverage foundation and probably when I go out and things like that so I'm going to keep them as like my two go to foundations and the concealer that I always use is the Revolution concealer which is literally four quid um, it's amazing and then everything except from mascara I think I've bought in these packages so I'm going to get into it now so it comes with a little receipt I've never bought from Cult Beauty before so it comes with a little receipt that looks like this Altogether, I spent $42.99 on Cult Beauty. So it just comes in this little um, cardboard box like this. And I've got some scissors because I knew I probably won't be able to get in these. I've never done like a little unboxing on my channel before. When I open it, it's just like this, and then they're just wrapped in this little black uh, tissue paper. I'm going to have to try and find out if you can return, because I'm not actually sure if you can. I don't think I will be, though, because I'm pretty sure I'm going to absolutely love all of these products. So, oh, I'm so excited. So, the first thing I got is the Pro Brush Dual Brow, which is from NYX professional makeup or NYX um, this is just drugstore and this was £9 so this is what this looks like it's just this NYX brow pencil so on one end it has 
the little spoolie. I'll just open it because I'm pretty sure I'm not going to take, well I'm not going to be taking this one back so that's fine. And it's just on one end it's just got this little spoolie where you just brush out your eyebrows. And then on the other side it is this little angled brush. So I usually wear Anastasia Dip Brow so that is what I will be using that for. So yeah, I really needed a new one from these. I was I was I used to use the Anastasia one and then it broke. Then I used the Primark one or possibly the other way around, but it literally broke. It's so bad, so I desperately needed a new one. So I think this will be great. And it just says NYX Professional Makeup on the So that's the first product. Next product I got from Cult Beauty was the Screen Queen Lux Crease Brush which is from Zoeva and this is the 228 brush so I've never had any brushes from Zoeva before most of my brushes are from Amazon I have a couple from Real Techniques which I think pretty much everyone has when they start getting into makeup they probably just buy Real Techniques brushes which I did um, I have a couple of them and I have one Too Faced one I've never tried more of the like, high end brushes like Morphe um, and Zoeva so I thought I would if I'm just getting this totally wrong then just ignore me but I thought I would try um, a different brush for once, obviously from the normal ones that I'm used to. So this is what it looks like. This is just the Zoeva Screen Queen brush. I don't know if it's anything to do with Screen Queens, which it could be because it's like this really gorgeous pale pink. I'm going to open this, but it's just um, the 228 Lux Crease Eyeshadow Brush. So this is just from Big Fluffy Brush for blending out your eyeshadow. So it's just this gorgeous white fluffy brush with this gold here and then it's like this really pale pink and then it just says Zoeva in gold and this is the 228 Lux crease brush if anyone is interested in buying this and it's super fluffy. So yeah, I cannot wait to try that with my eyeshadow. So the final item I got is the Too Faced Dark Chocolate Solil Bronzer and this was £25. Also if I didn't mention the Zoeva brush was £8.99, I think I did but I might have not so that's just a little reminder. So this was £25. I'm really hoping that this shade is, that shade is okay because I know that dark, the dark chocolate colour is more for darker skin tones but I previously had the normal chocolate one and it really wasn't that dark at all. Um, I wear fake tan quite a lot and I like to make my foundation match um, or like my contour look like it matches my fake tan kind of thing. Like I don't like looking my face looking too white when I have foundation on. So this is just the Too Faced Dye Chocolate Solil Longwear Matte Bronzer. It says it's made with 100% natural cocoa powder and it is matte it was matte it says that it's like specifically matte but I'm sure the one that I had last time was matte but it's got new packaging from the last ones so it just says Too Faced Dark Chocolate Solil Dark uh, Long Wear Matte Bronzer made with 100% natural cocoa powder so it just says the same on the back as it does on the front so that's what it looks like on the back if my camera will focus and then it just looks like this I literally can smell it already, it smells so nice so it just looks like this on the front so it's just this Too Faced it says Too Faced on the front and it's just got this gorgeous brown packaging with gold around the outside it's, I really prefer this packaging from the old packaging and it's just got this little heart clasp there so if I just pop that open Yeah, I think this is actually going to be such a good shade because it's really not that dark at all. So, so this is what it looks like. It just says dark chocolate matte. So I'll just show you a close up of that. And then it just has the little mirror at the top as well. So it's perfect for taking out. So it's like this gorgeous chocolatey colour. I'll do a little swatch on my hand. So that is a swatch for you guys of what it looks like. I'm actually so glad I got this colour. It's like the, the 
perfect chocolatey brown. I think that this is such a good colour for me compared to the um, normal chocolate but this also makes me think that if this is more for darker skin tones then they really should bring out because this is definitely not going to keep cater to everybody. Um, if this is suiting my skin tone which I'm pretty sure it will then this isn't going to suit people that are a lot darker than me so they definitely should bring out another colour of this. Um, I know they do light or it's like milk chocolate, chocolate and dark chocolate but they really should bring out an even darker one because this I wouldn't say is dark chocolate at all. I would say this is more medium but yeah it also smells just like the first um, bronzer that I had the first edition smells like chocolate and it's super gorgeous I cannot wait to incorporate this into my makeup routine so that's the three items that I got from Cult and now we're on to beauty I'm excited like I actually think that buying makeup might be more exciting than buying clothes because makeup to me is like I don't buy it as much at all like buying makeup is more of a treat it's like I was going to say like a yearly thing but like only when I buy a lot of products at once it's more of a yearly thing because these products last me a long time. Why have you been? This is so hard to get into. So this is what it looks like when you open it. It's just got like cardboard protecting products. I'm just removing the packaging and it come, everything comes in this little bubble wrap box. I was going to say, I don't know where my receipt is, but it's all written down on this little sticker here, I guess for returning. If you want to return, but I highly doubt I will be. So the first thing I got is Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the colour Chocolate. Um, if anyone knows me, they'll know that this is literally my go-to brow product. I don't actually have it on now. This is currently L'Oreal. Um, I'm not entirely what it's like L'Oreal. Not I'm not entirely sure. But one end it's a spoolie, and the other end it's like a crayon. And I'm really not a fan of it at all. I tried to make it work as best as I could, and I'm not a fan of it at all. Um, I'm definitely an Anastasia pomade girl. But yeah, this was seventeen pound ten. So this is what it looks like. Um, I'm definitely going to be keeping this so I'm going to get into it and show you what it looks like. I'm so excited to have a brand new one of these. Um, they last you a good year. Um, my old one has literally just, I've used all of it and there was like tiny bits on the side but it's just dried up so much like I needed a new one so bad but I just didn't want to spend the money. Um, it feels so new, it's so nice. Um, if anyone is struggling what brow product to use I would definitely, definitely recommend Anastasia brow, brow pomade or Anastasia brow products in general um, they are a little bit more expensive than the drugstore but they're definitely worth it they last a very long time if you're going to use the pomade then it lasts a very long time so this is what it looks like it's just this pomade in the little glass container and I know it doesn't look that much but this will last you over a year honestly this will last you over a year and to me it's just the best brow product I've ever tried so yeah I'm absolutely in love with this product and someone at work not even that long ago asked me what I use on my brows I'm always getting asked what's, what I use on my brows um, even since I went to high school I've used this and everyone has always asked me what do you use on your brows and this is just the best thing that I've ever used um, it might take like a little bit of practice to get used to it as I like I bought the NYX bro NYX brush that I showed that I'm going to be using this with and you do just take a little bit on the brush and just work it into your brows if anyone wants to see possibly a tutorial of how I do mine then let me know um, I'm not any sort of makeup artist or anything this is just how I do mine but yeah I would definitely suggest getting these um, I know they do the Anastasia brow brush but literally any brow, any brow brush is fine they're all pretty much the same but yeah this product is definitely the best brow product I've ever used. So on to the next product. I got the uh, what's it called? Blank Canvas Com Cosmetics. Wow, that was a mouthful. 
F28's Dipple and Highlight Brush and this was £6.75 so I wanted more of like a prominent highlight brush because for my highlight as you can see it is quite bright to be honest considering my highlight is literally from the pound shop <laughs> it's so bad um, but yeah I've been looking for a new highlight for ages but I wanted something, a brush that I can put it on with because I use a fan brush and fan brushes don't put on as much product as um, brushes like this it looks a bit like an eyeshadow brush I'll get it out and show you but yeah this is the F28 brush if anyone is interested they did have like nicer looking ones but I didn't want anything that was too expensive because I think they really can't be that different um, it's only put, to put highlighter on and I did want one that looked a little bit better like my Zoeva brush is absolutely gorgeous but I decided to get this one if I can open it it just says blank canvas cosmetics f28 and it just looks like this it's super fluffy if I can even open it super fluffy and soft and it's just to put highlight on with so you'll just be like putting your highlight on and it makes your highlight this collects a lot more product onto the brush than a fan brush and because it is directly just on to your cheek instead of like on the fan um, type of brush if that even makes sense I don't know if that makes sense but yeah this puts this makes your highlight a lot brighter we'll try it later because I bought a highlight and I'm so excited to get it open but yeah that's what this one looks like and this was 6 75 so the last item I got from this box of beauty based stuff I've got another box yet um, is the Nanshi I've never bought from this brand before it's called Nanshi this is the contouring brush in pearlescent white and this was £8.95 so this is what it looks like in the packaging I'm going to get it out and show you in a second but yeah this is just a new contour brush for me because I've, I'm literally currently using a Primark one and I just wanted to upgrade a little bit you know oh this is literally so soft <laughs> I've never ever bought from this brand I've never bought from Zoeva or Blank Canvas or Nanshi but I thought I would just try this over. I'm saying that right. If I'm not, then please let me know. Let me know down below how you say it. But this is what it looks like. So it's just this pearlescent white brush. I probably should put it that way so you can read it. It just says Nanshi contouring, and it's just black and white. It's like this angled contour brush that will just go down your cheeks. Perfect. Just do that perfect contour, and it is super soft. This is definitely an improvement on my Primark brush. And I just can't wait to just throw out all male brushes. Um, I don't really have any brushes that are like worth keeping, they're just all like cheapy ones that I can just happily throw out. I just wanted to like get some good brushes that will last me a long time. So yeah, this is what this one looks like and I'm pretty sure this is going to be great. Obviously I, you can use it to put on my Too Faced um, bronzer, why did I forget the word? But this is just like the perfect matte bronzer that I can just use for contouring. So. Should we do no I don't want to try it I'm gonna wait until I do my makeup next time to try it but if anyone wants to see like a little testing video of all my new products then please let me know as I said I'll be happy to do that so altogether from Beauty Bay I spent £32.80 so that's Beauty Bay and Cult Beauty done and finally I have another box of Beauty Bay I know I'm bad all right I needed a lot of new makeup well did I need it? <laughs> I wanted it. So let's try and get into this box. At least so far I'm not taking anything back, so that's alright. For once, I'm usually the person that always takes everything back. To be honest, the state of the boxes that I've done, I don't think it's good. Mom. Okay, so finally I'm onto the last box of Beauty Bay. So it just comes in this little. Uh, protective I've told the comes wrapped it in the bubble wrap ah, I'm so excited literally makeup excites me so much so this is like the most stuff I've got in one package so the first thing I got right I'm gonna keep that till the end because that's so exciting so the first thing I got is the pro setting HD high definition that's not that first thing I got is the LA girl Pro set in HD high definition setting spray. 
and this was £5.40 so I thought I'd try this for once because I usually use the Revolution setting spray but I thought I'd try something a little bit different. Um, so this just says LA Girl Pro Setting HD High Definition Setting Spray Long Lasting Matte Finish. The problem I would say with this is that it looks a lot smaller than it does on the website. Um, this is like really small compared to my Revolution one it is like a lot bigger but this might be a lot better so we'll see we'll see I'm I'm someone with oily skin so and I get oily quite easily so we'll see how it holds out um so yeah this one was £5.40 I'm excited to try it so the next thing that I got is the RCMA translucent powder which was £11.70 so I've been using RCMA powder for about a year and a half and I absolutely love it I've not used another powder since um, one it's amazing for the money amazing literally it's like £12 it lasts you a year you do not need to repurchase for ages I've still actually got like a little bit less than a quarter of the bottle left but I wanted to try the yellow one instead so I don't know if you can see but this is the yellow coloured one it's only like a really really light yellow but I have quite like yellowy skin if that makes sense like when I went to get tested for my Estee Lauder foundation she said my undertone was very yellow um, so I wanted to try the yellow tinted powder instead of the white one I thought it might look a little bit better on me um, they might totally be the same, I'm not sure, but I just wanted to try this one instead. Also, that one was running out, so I just tried this one. So it just says RCMA translucent powder. That's literally it. It doesn't say anything else on it, but it's super simple and it's so good. So yeah, this is what it looks like. It's this huge, huge, huge tub. So when you open it, it just has the little thing at the top and you just empty a little bit out in your hand and then just put it on either with a beauty blender or your powder brush the one thing I didn't get and I really did want was a powder brush but I just couldn't find like a big fluffy powder brush um, that was quite cheap because a lot of things on these websites are quite expensive so yeah that's the powder so the next thing I got is the Giordana Prime No Shine Mattifying face primer and this was £6.30 so I've never bought this primer before I thought I would just try it and um, that's why I was gonna say like I might do a first impressions because a lot of these things I've never tried before I've never tried the brands before I just thought I would try this for one so it just says Jordana Prime No Shine Mattifying Mati Face Primer it says it reduces the look of pores and fine lines extends makeup wear time yeah that's literally what it says and it just says number two mattifying and it says it does not clog pores non greasy feel translucent finish so yeah I usually use uh, the L'Oreal mattifying primer but I thought I would just try this one for once because I am quite oily and this one might work a little bit better for me we'll see I had quite a lot of uh, five star reviews on Beauty Bay but this is what it looks like the packaging's just reflecting a little bit but yeah this is what it looks like so I'm excited to try that soon and the last thing that I got I'm so excited for literally I've been looking for a highlight for the longest time um, and I wanted to try something that was more like high-end and something I just wanted to like invest in a highlight because it's something that you don't really need to repurchase for a while um, it's gonna last a long time so I just thought I would just go for it and just try it so this is the glow baby glow highlighter in glazed donut um, by Ofra and this was £22.50 so I'm super excited I'm gonna get it out and show you in a second but this is what it looks like in the packaging it's quite white which I'm very happy about because usually a lot of highlighters are more gold and I really don't like gold highlight highlighters I don't think they suit me very well so it just says Ofra highlighter in glazed donut made in the USA so I'll just open it and show you what it looks like. So excited to swatch it. So yeah, this is what it looks like. And it just says Ofra Nikki Tutorials on the back. And then we'll open it and see. I'm so excited. Literally, this is so bright. 
so this is what it looks like it looks absolutely stunning so I'll just show oh wow okay wow and then I'll just put it on my hand all right yeah I definitely made a good choice buying this so this is what it looks like <laughs> my hands in a bit of an awkward position <laughs> is absolutely stunning you literally need the tiniest little bit and it just feels so nice and creamy as well I would normally use my brush but I just don't want to get it out yet but wow I've just put that on top of my normal highlighter but you can tell that it's going to be such a bright highlighter I'm so excited but yeah that's what it looks like it's absolutely wow it's so bright <laughs> So yeah, I'm super excited to try that one, literally so So guys, that is literally everything I got from Beauty Bay and Cult Beauty. I can't even carry that Anastasia brow from here because there is that much stuff that I bought. I cannot believe how much stuff I bought, but at least I won't have to buy anything for such a long time. As I previously mentioned, if anyone wants to see a little um, first impressions or anything, how they look on um, testing or like a little review on any of the products, then please let me know down below. I'm not a makeup artist or anything like that at all, but if anyone would like to see anything like that, then please let me know. I'll be very happy to do something like that for you guys. Um, and that's pretty much everything I've got to show you. I haven't bought anything else, thank God. My bank account will be screaming at me. But yeah, that's everything I've got to show you guys, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I would super, super appreciate it. I've just hit 250 subscribers, and... I'm literally so happy, thank you guys so much for watching my videos and being interested in what I film. As usual, please leave any video suggestions down below, I'd massively appreciate it. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you my guys in my next one. Bye guys.